Hi, good morning. So it is Monday. Just another manic Monday. Got my candle lit. One thing I'll tell you to uh, start your week on the right path. Make sure everything in your environment is clean, including you. So this weekend, I did all the deep cleaning, all that fun stuff. And one thing I will tell you, sweep and mop your floors every day. Every day. I don't let people walk in my home with their street shoes because it brings in all that dirt and grime. And then also, clean your shoes. Because like especially in the winter, a lot of salt, a lot of dirt and things like that will get tracked on your rugs, on your floors everywhere and i used to take care of animals yeah cats dogs chickens oh my god and one thing i will tell you not only do you have to bathe your animals keep them clean so when they uh, come in the house you wipe their paws off that you know you keep your area sanitized because not only is cleanliness next to godliness you feel better your environment is everything in terms of making it feel decluttered, having that harmony, that balance that you seek, you know, the yin and the yang. It's important that your environment is a reflection of who you are. And a lot of times we are in environments that we may or may not want to be in, but you can always make the space your own. So first things first, I want to first give a special shout out to my daughters. I hope you girls are doing amazingly well in school. And yeah, I still check your grades remotely. Mm -hmm. School's very important. So now that I got that out of the way, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about being your best, right? Looking your best. So last night at 12 a.m., I went to the gym. Don't let anything stop you in terms of what you have to do. Manage your time and think about things you can do. Pace yourself. You can't do everything at once. Sometimes you just need to sit down. And that's what I did. I had a lovely pedicure and manicure. Know how to do your own pedicure and manicure. It works well in between your visits to the shop. Same thing with your hair. Take care of your hair in the meantime, in between time. So when you do go to the hair salon, it's easier for the stylist to work with you. And always, you know, you have to make sure that uh, you present your best self any and everywhere that you go. You never, you'd be surprised people taking pictures, following you around, want to see how you live. Mm -hmm. And so, show you my hands clean. Notice how my cuticles are pushed back. See how I'm putting that castor oil? During the winter, especially on the East Coast, it's very dry. Open the windows in your home. Let that fresh air come in. I actually turned off my heat and AC. Uh, my house is relatively warm. I don't like it to be real hot in my home. So I want that cool breeze to come in. And that also kind of helps the air circulate because in the winter time, if you're in your house all the time, dust, a number of things. So it's Monday. Got to show off the weight loss. Now, um, sweater, I don't know where it's from. Pants are by philosophy. So going back here, see. So I am slimming down. That is the benefit of being able to cook at home being able to have enough sleep, not running around doing all these things, being super stressed out, all these clients, all these companies, nope. And I'm making sure that my face, my skin, moisturize. Now during the winter, I like to take my shower at night. I don't like to get into bed without having a shower. Um, but also, you have to moisturize your skin and your hair and your nails the whole night, especially your feet. Before you go to bed, sometimes I sleep with socks, sometimes I can't because I don't like anything on my feet sometimes, but I make sure I moisturize my feet before I go to bed. And in the morning, uh, before you turn on your camera, before you turn on your TV, anything, take care of you. 
before you take care of your spouse, your children, you got to take care of you. So if that means you got to get up a little bit early, do it. I love to have the house quiet and to myself before everybody gets up. And also, what I do as soon as I get up, before I wash my face, brush my teeth, and before I even put on my clothes, I sweep and mop. Yeah. And I wipe down whatever needs to be wiped down just to get the home feeling like home. And then, of course, scents are everything. So I'm going to be looking at developing my own cleaning product line. You know, and the thing is, even if you design stuff, it doesn't have to be a business per se. There's nothing wrong with just having clean and clean products in your home. Now you can also sell them and make some money. Why not? So, Mr. Clean, antibacterial, summer citrus. I love the smell. Let's see. It contains no chlorine, bleach, or ammonia. That doesn't look too bad, but obviously you look better. I actually use some bleach cleaner too in my water. You want to make sure you clean your brooms, your mops every time. I'll show you what I mean. Now that I showed you guys the weight loss, and I feel super happy. Take my little candle. You want to save money or electricity? Hmm. Cut the lights off when you're not using them. Also, your walls, your baseboards, you got to keep them clean. I'm watching TV. I already have my coffee. And you see my floors nice and clean. And then, of course, my shoes, which I keep at the door. And I clean them, especially when your shoes cost a good amount of money. You want to take care of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like my candle just went out. Totally cool. So, just cut the light on. Think about your laundry and think about how you don't want to let it pile up and you don't want to do it all in one day. So if you have different family members, pick a day that everyone has their laundry. And what I like to do, I wash it. You're going to fold it and put it up. Or if I fold it and put it up, then I expect that you're going to be doing your homework, or if you want to go out, it's already done. Part of my job as a mother is to make my children's life easier. Same thing being a wife, make your husband's life easier. But then what about you? Well, my children do things to make my life easier, like listening, getting good grades, being respectful, and uh, participating in activities that is going to enrich their life. My husband, he makes my life easier because I don't have to go out here and work all these jobs. You know, he had been against me doing it for years, but I like to make my own money. I like to have my own life. And also, there's nothing wrong with being a good example for your children. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I take pride in my home. I take pride in my parents. And also, I take pride in my family, even when traveling. Yeah, I think about my family all the time. So, mops. See how my mop is clean? Wear gloves. Prime example, voila. So you want to wear gloves when you are cleaning, especially when you're dealing with products and, you know, mops and all that. You also want to keep your bucket clean. I work a lot of places. Even house cleaning places, right? Dirty. Can't do that. Whenever I would go to a new client's home, well, first of all, it's probably why I have a storage. I have nothing but cleaning supplies stored in there. So depending on the contract that I write with the client, I will either bring my own supplies or I will use theirs. Now, I prefer um, if they have special cleaners, they can let me know. I prefer to bring my own. Very professional. And you cannot use the same mop and broom in somebody else's house. So you go to like the Dollar Tree or you buy them in bulk. But a lot of times you don't have to bring a mop and a broom to someone's house. They should have that. They should also have a vacuum. You know, a lot of these places be like, well, you need to bring a vacuum. You don't have a vacuum in your house? Really? Uh-uh. So, my little witch's broom. See how it's clean? 
a couple hairs I could probably go back and pick out. But the purpose is you want to keep your environment clean, people. Always have a fire extinguisher. That is a must. Let me put my shoes here. And also, because it was muddy, I cleaned them. Toothbrush works wonders. Alrighty. Notice how my rugs are off the floor. Because I'm getting ready to come in here and cook. I got a lot of stuff to make. Got some lemons. I got some apples. I got a lot of things to make. And I want my environment to be conducive to what I need it for. And I like to be relaxed. One of the things that I realized is that when we we're always stressed out, it resonates. It resonates clearly. And so having things less stressful, I like to make sure that before I go to sleep and first thing in the morning, wipe my counters down. My sink is clean. When this is turned upside down, you know the kitchen is closed. Of course, these type of things, that's why I put, you notice I have this on here, and I have a little toothbrush that I use to scrub different things. Also good for scrubbing bottles. My all purpose, whole nine. Make sure your sponges are clean. Change them regularly. Dish drain. Yeah, clean your dish drain. Mm -hmm. Dishwashers. Gotta clean those too. Let's see, is my oven clean? Yeah, it could be a little bit cleaner, but you gotta, you know, like this, I'm gonna spray some of that easy off. Keep your home clean. It goes a long way, you know? Got my pots and pans ready. Like my place to be organized. So if you take that time during the week and do it every day and put things back in their place, it's so much easier to find stuff. It is so much more easier for you to exist, to be. And so I have laundry to do. I have paperwork to do, I have a lot of things to do. But one good thing that I'm glad is that my environment is clean and conducive to what I need it to be. So even if you're working from home, which I do, you want to get all those little things done. So that way you can focus on doing your job. Uh, a lot of people that work from home don't realize they can see what you're doing. They may not tell you. They can see what websites you visit. They can see uh, what you're working on the whole nine. So FYI, if you work from home, do not use, first of all, I have a thing about using your personal devices to work from home. Uh, how secure is it? But also they can watch you. Anything you do on that computer is not yours. You know, so just keep that in mind. But also, uh, when you are working from home, you don't need distractions like the laundry, like cooking. So treat it, treat working from home just like you would a regular job. You want to make sure that you're up, that you're dressed, you know, and just because you are on camera, do not walk around in your underwear, okay? Because it'd be kind of awkward if you get up, <laughs> and I've seen this, <laughs> or if you take a picture of yourself, be wary of the surroundings, you know? Mm -hmm. So now that I have everything situated, and I have my coffee. Now I can think about breakfast or brunch. Because I don't know, it's almost 12 o'clock. But I got up at like 10. Some days I get up very early. And some days I like to sleep in. Personally, I feel that school, they're making these young people get up way too early. And they're tired. They're exhausted. So that's what I try to tell young people. Sometimes if you need to go home and take a nap, you know, <sighs> kind of reset go for that watching some tv shows and then uh, yeah i gotta get ready so i'm gonna cook and i have work to do and um there were some jobs i worked from home i would work 10 12 hours yeah and so you take breaks and back home in california guess what i would do go to the pool <laughs> it's right there in my backyard um i would also go take a walk Walking is a great way for exercise. Get you that fresh air before you sit down at your computer. 
Get your body comfortable. Have a good pillow. Have everything that you need. You know, I think about snacks, my waters, my beverages, so I can do what I need to do. Now, I heard of some people that are working two jobs remotely at the same time. You need to be careful with that because eventually it will catch up with you in the sense of, you know, depending on what you do. Some people can do that. I, I do it all the time. I work for multiple clients. But what I'm saying, if you are a customer service rep and I've done that work, you shouldn't be trying to work for two companies at the same time. It's, it's too much because what if you miss a call? One of the things that these uh, companies look at is your metrics. Mm -hmm. So always keep that in mind. And now that my home is clean... You know, I've done the whole care for myself. Later on, I'm going to wash my hair. Now, when I travel, let me pull my hair down. I only pulled it up because of uh, cleaning. So, I'll tell you that when I, when I travel, I like to make things as easy as possible. So, the silk press is going to be happening. See my little gray hairs. <laughs> the good thing is when you're traveling... You want to put your best foot forward, but also you want to make sure that when you get home, there's nothing that needs to be done. So take inventory of what you have. Toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, trash bags, the whole nine. And make sure that before you leave, everything is situated as it should be. Super easy. All the laundry is going to be put up, everything. And I love, even though it's kind of cool outside, this air feels amazing. Fresh air. So, um, you know, a lot of times with these heating systems, depending if you're from an old place, they can blow a lot of dirt and dust and stuff like that. Also, I'm going to recommend, if you live in a place where you cannot smoke inside, don't smoke inside. I mean, yeah, I was young back in the day. I did not care. Hotels like, oh, I can't smoke in here. Bet you I will. <laughs> you live and you learn, Right. And so the reason why I say that is because somebody's smoking in my building, right? I'm not getting blamed for that. Uh-uh. Do not break the rules of where you live. Just like in a hotel. A number of things. You got to follow the rules. Even if you don't like them, I get it. And do not follow bad behavior whatsoever. You know, because granted, you may feel, well, if other people are smoking in their unit, I can smoke in my unit. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then when you get a violation notice, and a couple violation notice means you're out of there. People don't know that slumlords, that's kind of one of the techniques or people that are greedy, you know, just in New York or LA. And they know that they can get more money. They will look for ways to get people out of there. Yeah. Or especially if your neighbors don't like you. They will find ways. Trust me, I've lived in enough condos and HOAs to know. They will try to find a way to cause you not to have happiness. Now, when it comes in terms of energy, positive energy goes a long way. So when I first wake up, some days I'm like, la, 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 la. And then some days I'm like, shit. <laughs> I get myself ready before I deal with everybody or before everyone comes to deal with me. And so that's what I want you to remember that you're not a robot. You have to make sure that whatever you need is done and that your self-care is taken care of. And that includes your hair, the way you look, the way you feel. So please, wake up in the morning, you had your shower the night before, well, do you want to freshen up your unmentionables and everything else? Moisturize your skin again. It's very dry. That's why my skin, I don't have to worry about it being ashy or dry skin. And uh, my scalp, yeah, it's very, very dry. And that's another reason why I am going to... So cross my hair, flat iron it, so I can travel and I can whip through the airports and wherever. Easy breezy. And then when I get back for a few weeks, I'm going to braid all my hair. So I'm going to show you how I braid all my hair myself. Get some good combs, some good rubber bands, mirror, 
but also good luck in jail. Try to avoid jails that have a lot of alcohol and stuff like that. It's hard. I know because the holding properties, so to speak. But that's why I want to look at creating and I have time for it now. I want to create my own cosmetic line, my own skincare, natural beauty, home products, and even candles. Why not? Spending all this money buying candles, buying incense, buying all these things that you can make yourself naturally. Essential oils. You can make you can make those naturally. Yeah, and I don't have much outside like I have in California where I can grow lavender. I can grow fresh produce, fresh tomatoes, uh, potatoes, carrots, lettuce, cabbage, the whole nine. But I don't let that stop me from eating healthy. Mm -mm. You have to make good choices when it comes to eating, when it comes to the whole nine. And you want to have that positive energy because uh, the world is full of negative energy. Can't you tell? And to combat that and to keep your spirits up, start off in the right place. So make sure that you have everything you need done. So when you come home, you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to do anything except relax. Let me tell you, going to work 10, 12 hours, even longer than that, on my feet, on my feet. That's why I take care of them. Tired. And then I get home. And of course, you know, the work never ends. My work is never done. So I like to make sure that, uh, yeah, if I need to have something done, it's already done. And as you can see, see how bulky my shirt is? Wait, doesn't do me, doesn't do me justice. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the weight loss, right? And so I got to get rid of this, which is coming down, but I don't have a huge gut or a big, big waist. Clearly. So I don't like going always showing off my behind because it gets so much attention. My God, is that the only thing people focus on? Child, please. So I also have some home decor projects to do, right? And this is gonna give me time while I'm traveling to focus on what I need to do. So my hair, you always wanna brush your hair out, comb it out, keep those natural oils. And that's why I can feel my scalp is dry. So especially in the middle, sides, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. And also I tell women, Please love your natural self. Do you know how many people want to copy your looks? You have thick lips. They get Botox for that, sweetheart. They get lip injections. You know. You don't need cheek fillers and all that stuff. Nope, not at all. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with, I don't know, being you, being who you are. Don't let other people tell you who you have to be. Absolutely not, absolutely not. Mm -mm. So, not wearing a lot of jewelry today. These are baby. I got my little gray purse. I got my black boots, my black coat. I'm ready for this. I feel good, I feel confident. Hold on, let me show you the whole look. Because again, when you start your day off and you have things to do, feel good about yourself. Right? Don't be stressed out. Nobody is perfect and nobody can get everything done. It's just not possible. Much as we might like to think that you're setting yourself up. So you want to see my laundry pile? It's diminished. Got some on the table. But guess what? It will be done. And it will be done by the end of the day. So know what is a priority. And just like if you have a job or you're in school, you are going to have deadlines. And people are going to expect you to meet those deadlines. So you want to manage your time and think about what do I have to do today, tomorrow. And then, yeah, I'm going to the gym later on. 
I think that's why I feel so good too. Working even out. More design inspiration. So some people like to work out in the early morning. Some people like to work out at night. This all depends on my schedule. But what I recommend is that um, you do your stretching before you work out. And of course, this After. is an important Very message important. for people on Medicare. You Today we're talking about so Medicare Advantage better. plans. Because I know I feel Medicare, super relaxed. I had that manicure, I had that pedicure, Medicare my house is clean. And see if I know what I'm going to do. Cool. Medicare Advantage plan that could help save money that. and may include additional benefits. I know what I'm going to cook for the day. I know what my objectives are. And I am going to meet them. I'm not going to let anything stop me. That's what you have to realize. And um, yeah, let me go get my boots. This is one of my favorite coats. I like it. I get them a little bit bigger, as you can see, because if I wear something underneath, it's also a nice travel jacket. It's lightweight. It looks luxurious. Let me feel good. So, invest in good quality leather. Mm -hmm. or different materials. Now I have some purses that are just regular purses, no name. I like the design. That's what you gotta keep in mind. Don't just go for the name because a lot of that they say is designer. Sweetheart, it's not. I don't know if you've ever uh, lived in a DMV, but wearing rain boots, even when it's not raining, that was a trend that a lot of us women started in the hood. It's funny how people come to the hood, right? To copy, to emulate. Some of the hottest fashions that you ever see are from women in your neighborhood, in your community. Yes, those are the real baddies. Not these copy clones, cookie cutters that you see on TV. I have my glasses. I feel great. So these are oh, oh, rain boots. What are they? Are you sure about that? See, one of the things that I like is quality. So I love that. Yeah, they're rain boots, but I like the design of them. See how it has that quilted pattern? Kind of matches my Argyle sweater. Let's see. Faux fur. Now, get the right shoe size. I used to sell shoes of Never Ted Bundy. I used to sell clothes too, working in a lot of retail places um, in high school. And that's how I learned a lot about fashion and different fabrics. And of course, I love the discount. That's why I worked at Macy's and Bloomingdale and Nordstrom's, uh, all that stuff. Now, I don't wear my shoes on my floor, as I mentioned. I don't like dirt. And then also, See how I gotta clean these? When I get back in the house, take care of your stuff. It lasts longer. It lasts longer. You can have stuff for years if you know how to take care of it. Same thing for things in your home. Yeah, you don't have to go out like the iPhone and get the same phone except for a few different features. Speaking of which, I do have to go get a new iPhone. Let's see. Also, when you have to take your boots off, sit down. It's so much easier. And I'll notice that wearing boots, you want to take care of your feet. That's why I tell people, get the Epsom salt, soak your feet, know how to do your own massages. And um, yeah, you'll feel great. I'm not stressed. Why, what do I need to be stressed about? Nothing. That's the point that I want to make to a lot of you. Don't let life stress you out. Trust and believe. <laughs> it could always be worse. And you know what? It's nothing wrong with asking people how they're doing. When I talk to people on the phone or I'm in the store, you know one thing I say to them besides after they greet me, how are you doing today? Yeah. Because sometimes nobody ever asks you how you are feeling, what you are thinking. Everybody just expects you to do, expects you to have the answer all the time. 
you know, the whole superwoman thing. Everyone expects us to be strong. We can't cry. We can't have emotions. We can't have a bad day. We can't say that we need help because as a black woman, if I say that I need help with anything, it's looked as a weakness. It's looked at, why can't you make it? Why can't you do it? But nobody says that to anybody else. Nobody. So one thing I want you to know is that you cannot do everything on your own. You should not have to do everything on your own. But if you find that you're doing everything on your own, empower the next person to realize that they have support. And that's why I join, I'm a member of a lot of organizations that support women. Yeah. So we get, even though we come from different backgrounds, we get to talk about some of the things that affect us all. And believe it or not, you'd be surprised. A lot of women go through a lot of the same issues and have great tips. Yeah. I remember always reading hints from Heloise and reading the magazines and stuff that always gave you tips and stuff like that. So do not listen to Martha Stewart because they're a liar and a fraud. <laughs> I'm just saying they are. No, they really fucking are. Everyday people, that's whose opinion I care about and I take seriously. That's why I read the reviews everywhere about anything to see how people are feeling. So whatever size you are, you can be happy, you can be comfortable, and you can be healthy. That is the name of the game. Eating healthy, uh, proper sleeping, getting enough sleep. You need at least seven to eight hours, if not more sometimes. Don't sit up all night on the phone. And that's coming from somebody who found themselves sitting up all night on the phone. Like, who? let's watch this video. Let's do this. That short-term attention span is because of shorts. They just want you to keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Utilize that time before you go to sleep to be rested. Whether you have to turn off all the devices in your home, even if you have to turn off the Wi-Fi, turn it off. Go to sleep at night. Have that rest. Your bed should be comfortable. You know, have the right pillow, sleep in the right position. There's a lot of things that uh, you find out. Also, make sure you have a good mattress. Make sure that your mattress is not too firm, not too soft. Take pride in your home. Take pride in your appearance. Take pride in your family, your whole essence of being, right? But never let anyone feel like you're not doing enough. You don't have enough because nobody has the answers. And what you'll find, everyone will say, well, you got to do this, you got to do that. Are you sure about that? Are you sure they haven't been tricking us all, making us think you got to go to this school? You got to wear this. You got to be here. You got to be seen. You got to be heard. They no, don't. You just got to be you. Let's see. All those apples and things I have to cook. One of the keys to success, drink a lot of water. Don't overdo it, right? But you definitely want to drink a lot of water. You have to take a test. If you have a speaking engagement, anything. Drinking a glass of water before you start goes a long way. So you know how they say have that cup of water when you wake up? Yeah, even if you can't drink it right away, uh, definitely keep yourself hydrated. Drinking coffee, a lot of people drink coffee and caffeine products, right? Limit that, but drink a lot of water too because they are diuretics. So, you know, a lot of people, first thing you want is that cup of coffee, myself included. Some days I go coffee free and I feel great because you don't want to drink too much. Heart racing, heart palpitations, that jitteriness. And I'm going to tell you the truth about energy drinks. They don't work. They don't work. Look at ginseng. Look at natural ways to boost your energy. You know, um, some of them are better than others, but you need to read the ingredients. If I do do an energy drink, I try to get the healthy ones, the ones without all those chemicals like Red Bull. 
And I know everybody loves Red Bull. Mm -hmm. You read the ingredients and see what's really in it. So I got my lemons, I have my apples, I have things to do. I'm going to make that cheesecake today. And so when I get back in the house, other than put up a little bit of laundry, that's it. I can get right into cooking and then I can get right into my work. So these are just my tips about what works for me. Y'all have a blessed day.